Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem. Find element occurring once when all others are appear present for thrice. Okay. So this is a medium level question and it's the problem of the day on Geeks for Geeks today. Let us go through the question now. Given an array of integers a r r of length n, every element appears thrice except for one. So which occurs once. So find that element which occurs once. All right. So if there are, if there is an array of length n, so every element occurs for thrice. So there is a, uh, there's a set of elements that are going to appear for n minus I mean, uh, three thrice. And there's only one element that's only occurring for once. You need to figure out that element. So these are some examples given, and these are the constraints. So look at the constraints carefully. AI is going up to 10 power nine from minus 10 power nine and expected time complexity is O of n and spa auxiliary space is O of one. Right. So, and the company tags are Google and uh, the topic tags are bit magic, mathematical. Yeah, we will be, uh, you know, using the similar sort of, you know, solution. So this is the solution you can see on, uh, you know, right side that is actually following uh, O of n time complexity and O of one space complexity because we are not taking any extra space. Yes, we are taking constant space of 32 size array. Right. So we'll figure out the approach. So going through this, uh, you know, example first, it has been given. Why is this output three? So you can clearly see that three is the only appear uh, element that is only uh, occurring for once, right? And whereas if you consider two, two is appearing for thrice. And whereas if you consider one, it's appearing for thrice. And whereas if you consider 34, it is appearing for thrice. So only three is occurring for once. So that is the reason output is actually equal to three, right? So what are the, uh, you know, naive uh, brute force methods that you can come up with to solve this question? First thing is you can use a map uh, and to store the frequency of each and every element. So you'll be taking an extra space for it. But at the end of the day, you'll be getting an answer, right? So you'll be seeing only if there is any element whose frequency is one. So you'll be returning that answer, right? That is a way to solve it. Another way to solve is sort the array so that yet and take an interval of three positions so because once you sort the array so if you even if you think of sorting this array you'll be seeing that this would be one 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 two 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 and three and 34 34 34 right so you'll be taking an interval of three so this interval of three the start and the last must be same again interval of three start and last must be same here once you come here the start is 34 the last is three so that's not you know that means this is not the correct answer so might be three might be repeating i mean three might be occurring for once 34 might be occurring one for once then you'll be checking this element if this is actually equal to this particular element that means this element is occurring for once right so i hope you people have understood how are we going to do it with help of sorting so in that time also you're not going to take any extra space so the space complexity would be just o of n log n right i mean sorry time complexity would be n log n and space it would be o of n but in the question they're expecting us to solve this in o of n time complexity right so we need to come up with a approach where we can solve this in a o of one, o of one space and o of n time complexity i was literally not able to solve this question in that format uh, six months back so i learned this concept through a youtube video but unfortunately it is not right now in the on the youtube so there are various other uh, youtube videos as well but the particular video from which i learned is not in, is not right now on the youtube so what is the concept that i've learned so take a moment uh, pause this video for one minute and analyze this and think what I, what did i actually write okay so think for a moment so i was not able to decode it, the same picture when it was given six months back so i want you people to think okay so that actually enhances your problem solving skills and out of box thinking so just pause a moment uh, you know pause the video and check i hope you did it so what did i actually do is have written the bit uh, representation so the same example i have taken example to all the elements here so i have written the bit representation of each and every element okay so what does this uh, 4 7 0 3 0 0 3 0 represent so 4 represent the sum of the bits at the 0th position okay so at 0th position we have a bit at 3 we have a bit at 1 we have a set bit okay set bit at 1 year as well year as well so totally how many set bits are there at 0th position 4 coming to first position how many set bits are there so if you carefully analyze here it is there here it is there here it is there here it is there here 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 totally seven are there okay so you can even calculate for second third and fourth at fourth you can see a set bit here here and here so there is only three set bits that's the reason your answer is three i mean at this position the value is three right so similarly you can do it then you'll be getting this following answer zero zero i'll just erase this first uh, 0, 0, uh, sorry, 0, 3, double zero, 0, 7, 4. That is what you'll be getting. Once you add the frequencies of the bits at each and every 
position okay starting from this particular uh, zeroth position till the fifth position so what am i going to get from this so analyze the question properly it has been given that there is only one element that's going to occur for once and the other elements are going to occur for thrice so what do he, what does he mean uh, when he states that the particular element uh, is occurring for thrice that means at a particular position let us assume at uh, first position itself at first position if i'm considering okay at first position if i'm considering two is occurring for thrice isn't it? 2 is occurring for thrice 2 is occurring for thrice that means at first position 2 is going to, going to contribute a set bit at 3 for 3 times because at for 2 okay for 2 the set bit uh, at first position at first position it is a set bit right it's not a zero it is one so there is going to be contribution of three ones isn't it because uh, a two is going to occur for thrice i hope you people are getting it at first position 2 is having a set bit okay so two's contribution would be one so one would be there right that's what we can see here but because two is occurring for thrice there will be three occurrences of one so total would be total frequency at uh, you know first position due to three uh, due to two would be three total would be three okay now take another element so you can even take this particular element one 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 so one uh, okay not one uh, you can take uh, you know this 34 34 34 and 34 okay even at 34 because it is occurring for thrice and 34 is having a set bit at the first position it's going to have a contribution of 3 as well okay so in this case for 34 so this is for 34 this is for 2 this would be 3 this would be also 3 because 34 has having a set bit at first position so because it's occurring for thrice so 3 into 1 that would be equal to 3 so total would be 6 right total would be 6 but if you carefully observe the answer is not 6 it is not 6 right it is 7 reason so there is some other you know black sheep i would consider that element as a black sheep okay that black sheep which is only occurring for once its frequency it's having a set bit at that particular first position because of which this whole number is not divisible by 6 not divisible by 6 okay so not divisible by 6 uh, sorry not divisible by 3 i hope you people are understanding okay so because every element occurs for thrice we can work on 3 right so if it's occurring for thrice so at that particular zeroth position or first position or second position whatever the bit position that you're working on the total frequency at that must be divisible by 3 exactly divisible by 3 but because there's a black sheep coming into the picture if it is having a bit a set bit at that particular position you're working on that means it is going to disturb the you know um, uh, stability that means it's not going to make the total frequency divisible by 3 it's not going to make the total frequency at that particular you know bit position uh, as divisible by 3 i hope your people are getting it now in this case what is the element that is repeating for once so it is 3 okay it is 3 and if you see the 3 3 as a set bit at zeroth position and at first position that is the reason you see here it is 7 which is not divisible by 3 it is 4 which is not divisible by 3 because it both this position at 0th position and vessels first position 3 is contributing a bit because of which the overall you know count at that particular bit number of set bits at that particular uh, position is not being divisible by 3 I hope you people have understood but whereas if you come to this it is divisible by 3 exactly because 3 is contribution at this particular position 4th position is 0 okay 3 is not having a set bit at 4th position so it's not going to disturb the stability okay I hope you people have understood it will be divisible by 3 okay so that is the whole funda involved here the same thing will be putting in the code as well so if you carefully observe so this is what I have taken uh, in count 32 because there might be 32 32 bits in the number so 10 number can go up to 10 power 9 so safe side I have assumed a 32 bit number or 32 bit vector okay so uh, these things okay this 0 0 3 0 3 double 0 7 4 all these things for representing this all this storing these things we are using this particular count vector okay which is of 32 size that is what we are doing here and int number equal to 0 decoding that number which is only occurring for once so for int bit equal to 0 bit less than 32 bit plus plus so we are going from each and every bit and we are checking at that particular position okay so int i equal to 0 i less than an i plus plus if array of i and one left shift bit so what are we doing here so if we wanted to check if a particular uh, number okay let us assume i'm working on this particular two and if i wanted to check whether it's going to contribute a bit whether or whether it's going to have a set bit at zeroth position what am i going to do i'll be doing an end operation isn't it so one left shift bit in the sense this is two power zero okay two i mean two power bit so if i'm starting from bit zero uh, bit equal to zero so that time i'm doing an end operation with one power uh, sorry that mean that time i'm 
actually doing an end operation of that element with 2 power 0. If it is bt equal to 1, bt equal to 1, that means I am doing an end operation with 2 power 1. Okay. So, end operation in the sense, I will be examining the bits. Okay. I will be working on the bits, whether it is having a particular element to be a set bit or not. If it, if the end operation is coming out to be a 1, that means it is having a set bit at that particular position. Okay. So, let us assume 3 itself. What is the 3 uh, bit representation? It is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. What is 2 bit, uh, two uh, bit, uh, bit representation? That is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. So, let us assume I am working on the first place. Okay. I am working on this particular first bit. I am checking if 2 is, 3 is having a set bit at the first position. So, with what I will be doing the end operation 2 power 1. That is the reason I have written here. If you do the end, you will be getting 0, 0, 0. This is, this is what you are getting. So, you are getting some value, right? You are getting some particular value here. This value is 2. Leave about the 2. If it is not having a set bit at this particular position, then this would have, you have, you would have got the end result as 0. But because you are having a set bit at this particular position, you have got some value at the end of the day. That is the reason we are doing an end operation at each and every bit. Now, if, you are, if we wanted to check if the particular element is having a set bit at second position or not, you will be doing an end operation with 2 power 2. So, uh, there is no element here. Let, let us assume you are checking for here, this particular position. Okay. So, 2 power 5. So, 34. What is the 34 representation? This is 0, 1, double 0, and uh, 1, 0. Okay. So, this is 2. This is uh, the 1, 2, uh, 4, 8, 16, uh, 32. So, yeah, I have um, done a mistake here. So, uh, this is 1, 0, 1, 0. So, 1, 0. Don't mind this small mistake. So, uh, yeah. So, if you just do this, uh, you know, uh, if, like end operation with 32, you'll be doing, getting this. Um, so, I'll just erase this particular stuff. Okay. So, if you are doing an end operation to check if you are having a bit at this particular position, so you can just uh, write this first 34 bit representation that is 100010 and write 2 power at 5th position if you are checking. So, do the end operation with 2 power, 32, uh, 2 power 5 that is actually equal to 32. So, this would be this thing. So, what is the value that you will be get, uh, getting after the after doing the end operation you will be getting this particular value, right? So, that means this at this position we have a set bit from 34 at uh, from 34 side okay so this is how i'll be doing and finally so you'll be storing it so count of bit plus plus so after uh, traversing every element at that particular bit position you'll be uh, updating its uh, count at that particular bit so if that turns out to be not divisible by zero that times you can you can just assume that from that bit there's a contribution okay for the black sheep okay so for example if you're starting from this uh, particular zeroth element you see that the whole frequency I mean the whole count four is not divisible by three so, you can assume that there is a contribution from at this particular position from the black shift. So, what is this answer? What is the contribution that it's uh, going to give? So, that is 1 left shift uh, 0 because we are working with 0th bit. So, that is actually equal to 1. Again, at first position, you will see that the whole frequency, the whole count is not divisible by 3. So, again, you can assume that at first there is a contribution from black shift for that first uh, bit. There is a set bit at that first position from, of that particular black shift. So, you will be doing 1 uh, left shift uh, 2 power 1. Uh, sorry, uh, 1. 1 left shift 1. One. This is actually two. So one plus two. Only these two. Other th others are completely set. Others at their position bits uh, total is actually divisible by three. So only these two are there. So you'll just add them up. One plus two equal to three. So this is the value of the number that is actually repeating for once. Okay. So that's it. So you'll be adding that particular thing if it is not divisible by uh, you know three. So finally you'll be returning that number, right? I hope you people have understood. I'll even submit this code for your reference. Um, Okay, it's working. Only thing I messed up is this particular point. I know uh, I was like in a double mind. So I did not see this clearly. So 34, this is the per, uh, bit representation. So 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so please don't mind this mistake. But rest of the things I think I've explained in a very better way. Grassroot level, I think I did not do any mistake. So please, uh, you know, go through this video once again if you felt any confusion in between. And this is a very good question. And this tests your bit manipulation skills and, you know, out of the box observation skills. So, thank you guys for watching this video and for your reference, the codes in C++, Java, Python are there in the description. Please go through them and also I've created a WhatsApp channel where I'm posting off-campus opportunities. So, please do have a look on that as well. Okay. So, thank you guys. Stay tuned.